Chairman. Uh, uh, John and Ayla. Uh, part two, obviously, of the sectors dealing specifically with the changes to the Inland Revenue Act, and uh, in particular, the, part three, there we go, part three, part two. Part three is, in fact, the bit that does deal with the Inland Revenue Act, even if I got the part wrong, at least I got the issues right. But, uh, Mr Chair, uh, this um, obviously is uh, recognises it's got to be fair to say that as well as the significant changes that uh, this bill makes to the payments to uh, uh, families where uh, the benefit with their beneficiaries, um, these uh, changes also recognise that for some families, even though they uh, are in work in some way, shape or form, um, they are still experiencing some level of hardship. And so this uh, part of the Act is dealing with that part of the equation. Um, in particular, obviously, through the uh, Working uh, for Families part of the uh, programme, uh, because Mr. S Mr Chair, we need to ensure that actually we are continuing to work with those families who are finding it hard, whatever situation uh, that is leading towards that. And so, Mr Chair, from uh, 2016 next year in April, uh, the low to middle income working families uh, who are not on a benefit will get up to $12.50 a week more through their working for families, depending on their income. Now, I've heard a number of comments from across the other side of the House this afternoon, basically calling that, num that amount insignificant, calling the 25 <laughs> insignificant. 